Hi there, in this video I just wanted to show you something about colour amps um, where there's there's actually a large archive you can um, gain access through uh, to via QGIS. So I'm using Zurich, uh, I think, yep, 318. Um, but this, this goes back a few versions. I don't, don't know exactly when, but it goes back a few versions. Um, so in the moment, if I go to my grid, go to properties and um, say I want to categorize um, these and you know fill with a different sort of color based on some value so I use description um, and I'll click here and I've got these color ramps so I can select greens press apply and sorry classify press apply and then you can see okay so I've got a nice grading color pretty, pretty irrelevant the data but don't worry about that um, but, uh, but as you saw in the color ramp um, you can obviously configure it and create your own, but actually uh, there's uh, quite a few people out there who have already done a lot of this configuration and created sort of uh, bathymetric, temperature, um, elevation, or, or, or all kinds, all kinds. So uh, they've already created them effectively for you. Now you can see when I go to all colour ramps, um, yes there's quite a selection, but actually there's a lot more. So how do you gain access to them? Well. There's a, there's a site, and I'll put the link um, in the YouTube video, uh, cpt-city, uh, and this is a collection of all kinds of gradients, all kind of color schemes. You can see topography, precipitation, and someone's already done the sort of hard work for this and very, very kindly, very generously made them available. How do you access that? Well, you can download it direct, or you can go to settings, star manager, and click on color ramp, and you see where it's just the kind of standard ones are there that come up or well, we want to add some so we add from cpt city click on that and as you can see there's a whole range of color ramps um, you can spend spend a week looking through these um you know there's all, all kinds of greens and reds temperature bathymetric uh, topo topographic uh, sort of all kinds really. So to add them in, you know, to, to, to use one, let's say, um, there's some default ones there, let's go for precipitation maybe. Let's go for that humidity one. So I'm gonna add this in. Uh, you can get a bit of sort of info about it, you know, how, how it's created, where it's come from. Um, press okay. And now I'm gonna call it, um, I think, what is it, precipitation? So I'll just call it my new color ramp, which gives me the opportunity to spell color correctly. Um, put a tag on it, I can create a new one, I'll just, just call it a colourful one. Add to favourites, so it appears straight away, you, you probably will want to do that. Press save, close. Now when I go back to my layer, go to properties, I go to the colour ramp, oh, I clicked on the um, colour itself, click on the down arrow there, and you will see my new colour ramp, which was that precipitation one from CPT City. So I click on that, press apply. Press OK, and I get this incredibly blinding, garish um, <laughs> new colour scheme, this new colour up. But there you go, hopefully that's uh, useful to you. And um, it's called CPT City, like I said, that's where they all come from. And there's uh, there's loads in there um, to, to really meet any requirement. Um, or maybe you, you load some up and tweak them. But um, anyway, I, I, like I said, I hope you find that useful. Thank you.